Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you may know, I recently went to the US. All my vlogs should be up by now, so I will link them and also down in the description box below. So make sure you go check those out. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is going to be my US haul video. I have mostly clothes and makeup, actually entirely clothes and makeup. I'm gonna show you the clothes first just because there's less of it. In no particular order, I got this dress. Oh my god, I have totally forgotten how to YouTube. It is a short bodycon dress with off the shoulder sleeves and these are like one quarter sleeves. And then it's got these cute little kind of double strap things here. I just really like the pattern of it. I just thought it was really cute and I really like the colours. Um, and yeah, I just thought this would be a cute little dress that I could wear to go out in if I ever decided to go out. The next thing that I have here is another dress. This is from Uniqlo and it's a woolen dress. It is so, so incredibly warm. Like I bought this in San Francisco and it was really, really cold in San Francisco when I went there and I literally, I, I could go out in this and I would be hot. Like, so yeah, that's that, that one. So I have another dress also from Uniqlo. This is a mustard colored dress, this is a short dress. The other woolen dress um, kind of goes down to my knees, I think, maybe a little bit higher. But this dress comes down to like mid thigh. I just think it's so, so pretty and it would be so pretty with like black boots or just like a denim jacket or something. I don't know, I just think it's so cute and I just love the color. I really, really fell in love with the color of this. So this one I've worn a few times already. This is a Calvin Klein jumpery kind of thing. Flares out at the bottom as well, which I'm not the hugest fan of. Is hugest a word? I don't think so. But I do love the color and I do love this kind of scoop foldy neck thing going on. The sleeves are like three quarter sleeves, which I really like as well. So yeah. Just good for lounging around in, even like exercise and stuff. I think that's what it's actually for, but I don't exercise. So the last piece of clothing that I have here is a jumpsuit. It's made of a really nice long flowing material um, and I just love the pattern on it. I think it's so unique. And I really like the fact that like, you could wear this alone, but I can also see like me wearing it with maybe like a white t-shirt underneath it or something like that. You can dress it up or dress it down, super wearable. So yeah, I really, really like that. Just the pattern is so pretty. It's so like interesting, you know? Um, so yeah, that's all my clothes. I do have two pairs of shoes to show you first, actually. So the first pair of shoes that I got are Adidas Originals. I bought these from Macy's, I think, um, and they were... Hmm, 70 US maybe? I don't remember. But they were much more affordable than they are here in Australia. I love them so, so much. They go with everything as well. Like if you're worried um, about wearing silver, don't even worry, like they go with everything. The last pair of shoes that I got, I actually got from Universal Studios. I went to the one in LA, which is where I picked up things. These are the Despicable Me Unicorn Slippers. I just could not resist. I picked these up like the second I saw them. I just love them. I think they're so, so cute. Like, and they have like their little tongues poked out. It's so, so cute. Like, now that we've got all of that stuff out of the way, it's time to move on to the makeup, which I am so excited to show you guys. I bought so much makeup. It's in the Bath and Body Works bag, but it's full of makeup. So. Let's just get into this so this video isn't like 25 hours long. So I'm gonna take everything out of its packaging today and I'm so excited because I've had this lying around for like almost two months now. Okay, this doesn't need unboxing and I've already started using this, but this is the Pixi Glow Tonic Exfoliator, Exfoliating Toner. I watched Zoella's video a while back where she used this and I was just intrigued, like I love having glowy skin and I love the idea of a toner. I've never really used a toner before, but this is honestly amazing. I've already started using it. I love the way it makes my skin look and feel. I'm not actually sure if it does anything besides make your skin really glowy and pretty, but I also find that it smooths my skin really well. So I'm so excited to be using that. So I went a little bit crazy on the Real Techniques brushes because in Australia they are so, so, so expensive. So the first thing that I have here is the, oh, is the Real Techniques 
powder brush. I just love the way that Real Techniques brushes feel and the way they look. I picked up the blush brush as well. This is kind of similar to the powder brush except it's a little bit more tapered at the top. I already have one of these blush brushes and they are honestly like my favourite brushes in the whole wide world. I love how they're like tapered into like a dome shape. It makes it so easy to bronze and blush and powder. So the next thing I have here is the Real Techniques Enhanced Eye Set. The Enhanced Eye Set comes with a little, um, what is this, a brush holder, which I don't know how much use I will get out of this, but we'll see. And then these are the brushes. So it comes with a medium shadow brush, a central crease brush, a fine liner brush, a shading brush and a lash separator. Again, I just love the quality of Real Techniques brushes, so so excited to have those in my collection now. Another set that I picked up was the Flawless Base Set. I basically picked this up just for the contour brush. This one comes with another little box container. And these are the brushes here. So it comes with the contour brush, as I said, a little detailer brush, a buffing brush and a square foundation brush. I'm so excited to have these. This is like such a nice buffing brush. I don't normally use brushes for my foundation, but I might try this out. The last thing that I got from Real Techniques is the Miracle Complexion Sponge. I got a two pack, um, but I've already taken the other one out because I'm using it at the moment. Oh my God. Do you see the shape of this? Because it's been squashed in weirdly. Anyways, that'll hopefully fix itself up. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about them. Yeah, I don't know, but I'll just keep using it and I'll let you guys know. Moving on, I picked up the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I have been wanting this for so, so long. I had a little sample originally and I just loved it. I found it so moisturizing and gorgeous. So I really wanted to pick up the full size. Um, so I'm super excited to have this. So I picked up a lot of e.l.f. products because we have e.l.f. here at Kmart, but it doesn't always feature the whole range, so I did want to get some stuff from the e.l.f. range. I picked up this e.l.f. blush and bronzing powder. This is what it looks like. It comes with a blush and a bronzer, as I said. This is in the shade Saint Lucia. It is a very shimmery, shimmery blush, as you may or may not be able to see. But these powders are so, so, so soft. I'm so excited to use this. I think it's just a really good kind of little staple to have. So the next thing I got here is another e.l.f. product. This is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte Eyeshadow Palette. You cannot get this in Australia. Again, it comes with a really big mirror and the shades are just amazing. So, yes. So the next thing I have here is a mascara. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I've been wanting to try this for so long, so I'm super excited to have this. I won't be using it anytime soon, however, because I'm currently using a different mascara at the moment, which I will show you because I did pick it up in the US. And that was the Benefit Roller Lash. Holy crap. This is the most amazing mascara that I've ever Use. I wasn't sure whether I wanted the They're Real or the Roller Lash. I've never really been like interested in the Roller Lash until Danielle Mansuti on YouTube said that this was her like favorite mascara and I was like I'm gonna get that one then. So I picked this up. I love the packaging. I love the brush. I'm super excited to have this. I love it so so much. So the next thing I'm going to show you is super super exciting. This is the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette. You have no idea how excited I am to be holding this right now. I've wanted this palette for so, so long. And oh my god, I am so in love with this palette. The packaging, the shades, the shadows, the smell. I just have a thing for eyeshadows that smell like vanilla or chocolate. Like, I think Tarte and Too Faced are just my favourite kind of eyeshadows in the world just because they smell um, and they're amazing so yes I'm so excited to have this I picked up this contouring palette contouring palette contour contouring palette contour from wet n wild in Australia we don't have wet n wild I've seen a lot of youtubers use this so I really wanted to pick it up these are so soft like you have no idea they're so so pigmented so soft so I'm so excited to have this, and I said so about 20,000 times. This next thing I have is also super exciting, just like everything else that I've already shown you. This is the Giorgio Armani, Giorgio, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have wanted this for ages. I actually did not intend 
to buy this foundation. I actually really wanted to pick up the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation because I just have been kind of really interested in how it works. But I don't know what came across me. I was just like, you know what? I'm here. Let's just spend all my money while I'm here. So that's what I did. And I picked up this guy and I'm so excited to use this. I love like glowy, luminous foundations. So the luminous silk foundation sounds pretty perfect for me. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. This is so, 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 so expensive. I cannot emphasize enough how expensive this is, but look how pretty it is. I picked up a full size of the NARS Creamy Concealer. I thought I'd pick up the full size because at the moment all I have is like a little mini one, which you may have seen me use in like some makeup videos. But yeah, so I picked up a full one because I love it. I picked up a Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, this is actually a shade darker than I already have. I've just kind of been digging like bolder brows. Not like super bold, but bolder. So this is another e.l.f. product. This is the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. You can get this in Australia as of recently but it's so much cheaper in America. A lot of people don't like this highlighter because it doesn't give off a lot of pigment. It's not like super glowy, especially when I wipe it on my hand. It's kind of nothing. But Kathleen Lights, the goddess herself, said to like scrape at the top of it. Underneath it'll be more pigmented. So that's what I'm gonna do after this video. This next thing I'm so, so excited to have. I have been wanting this for so long. You have no idea how long I've been wanting this for. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. I've been looking for a powder which I can use as kind of a setting powder, but also something that gives me um, a really nice glow to the face. You can kind of see it, the shimmer, or maybe not. Never mind. <laughs> I picked up the e.l.f. Eye Primer. This is the Sheer Primer. I've just heard a lot of good things about the e.l.f. Eye Primers, so I thought I'd pick it up. Um, and again, it was super, super cheap. Alright, we're getting down to the last few things now. So the next thing I have here is a Bite Lipstick. This is the Bite Multi Stick in the shade Brioche. These are just like multi-sticks so you can use them on your eyes, your lips and your cheeks. I just thought the shade was absolutely gorgeous um, and I think it would look so good on the lips and the eyes and the cheeks. And it has the amazing like metal magnet lip lock sound which is just the most satisfying thing in the world. So another lip product, this is the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Bound. Holy crap! I love this. I love this so, so much. I didn't really intend to get this. I really wanted to pick up some of the Tarte liquid lipsticks, but when I was there, I just didn't find a shade that I really wanted. And then I saw these, and I've seen people use them before, and I've actually really been wanting to try them, but their shade range isn't that great. But I really wanted to try one out, so I just thought I'd pick it up. And honestly, I've already used this, and it is honestly probably my favorite formula of liquid lipstick ever. It is so smooth. It doesn't move on your lips, but it doesn't dry matte, like it's not a matte liquid lipstick. So it doesn't dry out your lips, and this colour is like so, so pretty. There it is, there. Seriously, if you've been looking for a not matte liquid lipstick, try this out because it's beautiful. Um, so the last things here are kind of like little samples that Sephora gave me. I do have like one actual thing to show you, but I want to leave it right to the end because I'm so excited to show you. I picked up this Brioche here. Brioche Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. So this is obviously like a little conditioning mask for your hair. I also got the Belief, or Belief, I'm not sure how they want me to say that. Um, and this is the Moisturizing Balm. And it's just a little, I think it's like a facial moisturizer, but yeah, it's just a little pot of cream. I picked up the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream, which I'm actually super excited to have because I have heard of this and I have been wanting to try it. So it's just like a tiny little tube of it, but I really want to see how this works and if it works really well, I might go pick up the full size. So I also got a Vice lipstick from Urban Decay. I think this is the only shade that they had, but it is very pretty. It's not something I'd wear every day and you'd see why in a second. Just a super cute mini lipstick. So yeah, a very kind of maroony, no, not maroony, not maroony at all. Um, a magenta -y kind of shade. I also got a little Tarte set um, because I signed up with my birthday and I told them that I wasn't going to be here. 
for my birthday because my birthday is in October and they're like oh we'll just give you your gift now so I got this little Tarte blush in the shade Party oh my god I just dug my finger into it I'm so excited to have this I honestly was going to pick up one of the Tarte blushes but I just didn't know what one to get so I'm super excited to try this out and then I also got a little mini Tarte Tarteist lip paint and this is in the shade birthday suit and it's just like a very pale kind of nude the last thing that I got I am so super excited to have I know I've said that about like 50,000 products by now but I'm so stoked to have this this is the Tarte Tarteist Pro palette this is in Australia I saw it in like December and I was like oh my god I need to get that like right now but my friend was like to me Katie you're going to the US like get it in the US so that's what I did and it is so so beautiful I actually haven't heard a lot of things on this palette only recently at like the start of March and the end of February have I heard people talk about this palette some people say that they really don't like this palette but I don't see why because it's so beautiful and it also smells like vanilla. I think I'm going to be doing a three looks one palette with this palette so stay tuned for that. Yeah so I'm super excited to have that. But yeah so guys that brings me to the end of the video. I'm sorry if it was a long one. By the way yes I did spend a lot of money and yes I am incredibly broke now but I'm happy so that's all that matters. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and yes that's all. Subscribe, thumbs up, Bye!